And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Starfield. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into it.
What's new? moment to walk that off? to find inventive new ways to kill each other. Since they realize these men are too far. Whoever laid claim to this place seems to be long gone. I'm a man of action. I've got no use for lies. So when I tell you that you're being manipulated, you know I'm telling the truth. You think the Council of Governors about anything like themselves? They're greedy and corrupt. You're a tool in the hands of the unworthy, just like I once was. I was loyal. I followed orders, and 
and I led good men and women to their deaths. I'll carry the stain of that dishonor to my grave.
How can I assist? I have never been one to... Stay safe.
You're not walking out of here. I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, no? When the ceasefire order came down, now there's a debt of honor, and the people who betrayed us, the people of the Free Star Collective, are going to pay. Devastating the war. How determined both sides were to claim victory.
say so. Did they have anything of value? in the Freestar Collective and cut right through them. <clears throat> if we'd have had more like you in the war, we could have planted our flag in New Atlantis. You fought because you had to, and you fought well. <clears throat> Don't apologize for that. More importantly, you survived. Most soldiers don't. I know, because I'm the one who led them to their death. You don't know what it's like to look around and see the faces of warriors who trusted you to lead them as they die screaming. I watched brave men and women torn limb from limb by monsters. I saw mech pilots cooked alive in their cockpits as their machines burned. <clears throat> Those deaths didn't have to be meaningless, but spineless leaders gave up on us, even when victory was within our grasp. Do not assume you know what others have or have not experienced, and none of it gives you the right to take innocent lives. You don't know me, so don't preach to me about what I do or don't have the right to do. You really want to know? Because you might not like the answer. Last chance, deputy. You can walk away right now and remain blissfully ignorant, thinking you fight for a noble cause. But if you still want the truth, <laughs> I'll shatter that illusion for you right now. <laughs> We'll see about that. Not long after I started the first, I was contacted by a man who said he represented someone wealthy and influential. I refused to work for a shadow client, so we agreed to set up a meeting. Imagine my surprise when Ron Hook showed up. He offered me a lucrative contract to take possession of certain farms throughout Freestar space. Sure I did. The money was good, but the payback was the real reward. If I could avenge my men, make some credits, and eventually expose a member of the Council, well... <laughs> that... That, my friend, is my definition of justice. You think I've lost? Is that it? I haven't lost. <laughs> you go find Ron Hope and tell him what I've told you. 
then you can deal out whatever justice you see fit. You do your job, and I get one last piece of vengeance against the Council. What he wants does not matter. They should both face justice. Don't bother. Be ready for another fight. I'm gonna make this easy for you, deputy. I'm gonna die the way I lived. Weapon in hand. No compromise, no fear. But first, here, take this. Use it to cut out the weakness rotting at the heart of the Freestar Collective. When the next war comes, <laughs> and it will come, the Collective needs to be strong. Now my unit's waiting for me, and I'm gonna report for duty one last time. Goodbye, Deputy. Not everything in the galaxy needs to come with us, you know. We should not leave valuables behind. At first glance, it seems we are the only ones to come through here in the same time. I find the interior of this ship comforting.
Always good to speak with them. I am happy to help. Goodbye, for now. Back in our own ship. May I 
How may the trade certainly? If you're ever in New Atlantis, mind putting in a good word for me? I don't think my Messages to SS and Anna getting through. I try not to trade in gossip, but if you have any verifiable information, I'm always. Was there something you needed? How are you? Very good. Good to see you. By all means.
You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple. Looks to me like you've already... Okay, no problem. I don't want to hear any complaints. Keep an eye on your valuables. You ever check out the prices and try that? That's very generous, Mr. Hope. It's well earned, Burke. We'd be dust, except for the fact we set some ambitious quotas. You met every one of them. Well. I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news, whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. Those jackasses on Line A are gonna be the devil. Something more you need, Deputy? Good to see you again. Well, I've just received a report from the Marshal about your progress. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news? Did you now? Well, don't keep me in suspense. disgraced war hero who went to prison and you actually believed him that two-faced bastard kept the slate oh suppose. This is his revenge against the Council of Governors for what happened during the war. <laughs> I'm impressed, Deputy. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Burgett. In fact, 
Why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the deputy has to say. Ah, the cards are on the table. So why not? The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. <laughs> and it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed everything, turns out our fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content tenfold. We donated the fertilizer to select homesteads and let the farmers do the work. And when the time was right, we cleared the farm and brought in machinery to harvest the mineral-rich soil. The reduction in labor and materials costs sent my profits soaring. You sit on the Council of Governors. You betrayed the very people you are supposed to represent. I wish there'd been another way. But I had to play the hand I was dealt. Exactly, yes! But I tried to think of another way, any other way, but time was running out. It was those damn mercenaries. I never told them to hurt anyone, oh, but they got out of hand. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so, so awful to innocent people, to families? Not another word out of you, Birgit. I can take your job. And more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owner. You're right, of course. Uh, something must be done. I'll set up a fund to handle funeral expenses and take care of any surviving family members. We'll do this the right way. I give you my word. Like I said, I give you my word. Besides, the work was just about done. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. Well, let's not be too hasty, deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families suffer?
Well, I'm afraid there's no avoiding it. The past can't be changed. But the future is very much in your hands, Debian. You put me away, and this company will fall apart. You have destroyed far more lives than I did. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation this company, or the people who work for me. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not actually threatening to attack a Freestar Ranger, are you? You have overestimated your position, Mr. Hope. Absolutely. Consider it over. It's ancient history. You've already taken care of the first, and I won't be hiring anyone to take their place. From now on, I'll dedicate myself to looking after the hard-working people of Hotek. As for you, you're a hero, Deputy. You've saved this company and ensured a bright future for our employees and their families. You can count on me, Deputy. You'll find that my words as reliable as every ship that leaves this factory. Now, I'm sure the Marshal is waiting for an update on your progress. I won't keep you any longer. Farewell. Oh, and since we're agreed that discretion is in order, I'll take that slate from you now. a long history to this place. It is a testament to humans' refusal to concede defeat in the face of adversity. Famous people visit Aquila. Good to see you back safe, Deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Damn, you've got guts of steel. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? Makes my heart heavy to hear that. There was a time he was a great leader and a hero of the Freestar Collective. It's too bad he threw all of that away. Still, 
It's hard to escape the feeling you cured the symptom, but not the disease. I'm not questioning your bravery, Deputy. What you did was selfless and courageous. But whoever hired the first is still out there. And they might not give up so easily. The whole thing just feels unresolved. A temporary victory at best. You're right. You bought us time. And that ain't without some value. Who knows? Maybe we'll learn something new that'll move the case forward. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Woo! Uh, right. A year or two back, I shared a drink with Ron Hope. That man. and drink. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.